Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of LearnClassicRockSongs.com. My name is Kirby Swinnemer and today we're going to go through a song from Peter Gabriel called The Book of Love. Let's take a look at the chords. I'm going to play this with a capo on the first, which is where they, uh, where they recorded this with an orchestra. And it's a little easier to sing because it's a low song. So if you take the capo off, you may find it a little bit low to sing. So you may want to put one on just uh, for that reason, if, if nothing else. Uh, chords in this are fairly easy. We have a G chord, a C chord, a D chord, and an E minor. All right, so those are the chords, just a four chord song. Let's take a look at how we're going to strum this one. Now I have to make a little bit of a different arrangement than what's going on in the original because it's all orchestration and uh, the, the uh, chord sequence is a little different uh, in one part than it is in another. You standard stuff you normally when you have a song with a verse the chords change in certain spots and then the next verse it does the same thing or in the chorus it kind of follows a similar pattern. This song doesn't do that all the way through as it should, I guess. Well, not as it should, but it's, it wasn't written that way. It was written where the chords change a little bit between each area. So I'm going to standardize this, but uh, when you're strumming this, uh, we're going to do a little picking intro. I'll show you that in a second, and then we'll use that as a break pattern as well. The book of love is long and boring. Now, this is a very slow song as you listen to it. <laughs> no one can lift the damn thing. Now you can either just strum like this and sing through those through those lines, or we'll go love is long and boring. No one can lift the damn thing. It's full of charts, and facts, and figures, and instructions for dancing. through. So when we start off the book of love, or we're going to do a little intro pattern here. The book of love. We're going to go to the E minor on the verses to start each verse. They do it, uh, I think they do it in one verse but not in another. There's a, there's a variation in the way they do it. But uh, anyway, we'll do it with the, with the E minor. But it's just that. You can either do 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 You can either just strum it and sing the lyrics or you can do a little bit of just back and forth in the middle of the strings there, uh, in the middle of the fretboard, just, just to keep a little bit of a rhythm moving there if you want to. Okay, so let's take a look at this little picking segment, and then we'll use that as an intro, as a break pattern, and as an outro at the end. Let's take a look at it. Now again, uh, because of the chord structure on this, the melody of this is kind of built right into the chords. You don't really have to do too much as far as moving around on the fretboard. Everything is kind of right in the chord itself. For example... <laughs> of that little slide there but uh, you play the B string and then play it open see with my baby finger there and then when you go to the C chord you're playing the B string and open again and then you're playing to the G string on the D open and then open on the B as you go back to the G so you have that B string, open to the D there, to the G string right here with my index finger. And then you can go up one, two there on the open G, open B if you want. And then the second time you can play the E minor with the B string there, to the C, open, D string, or down to the G, back to the G again with an open B, and then finally here. I'm going to do two downstrokes on the, on the G and the B together. Same thing here. This, is, this looks like a C chord, but it's not. We're playing the B and the G there. Slide up to the D, and then open G again with two strokes. Now when you're playing this part, 
if you want to, you can play the C note here, but you want to muffle this D string out of the way with this finger if you're going to do that. You get an extra note in there, and then do the slide. So I'll play all the way through here. You're going to. So we're just playing the melody all we're doing there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna play it with a little bit of a rhythm, but if you want to play it all down strokes you can, it's up to you what you do with that part. But we'll use that to start, we'll sing a few lines or a few verses, we'll use it again in the break, and then we'll use it again at the end to get out of it. Alright, so let's go through this one. Not much to it. Alright, a beautiful song here from Peter Gabriel. I'm gonna change the chord structure on this because uh, the orchestra that is in the original recorded version. They kind of move the E minor chord around a little bit between verses and choruses. It's not really quite standard as you would think it would be. But it was written that way, I'm, I'm sure on purpose, so that's uh, what, what we have to work with. But I'm going to standardize my chord changes here uh, between the verses and the choruses. Alright, just to be different, and we've got a little acoustic picking pattern in here for us acoustic players so we can play this orchestration kind of a tune. <laughs> All right. Capo on the first keeps us in the right key as we talked about. It's a little low to sing when you first start this one until you get into it a little bit. But anyway, we'll leave it there. Let's try it. Called the Book of Love. for dancing but I I love it when you read to me and you you can read me anything the book of love has music in it in fact that's Some of it's just transcendental And some of it's just really dumb But I, I love it when you sing to me And you, you can sing me
right, there we go. A beautiful song from Peter Gabriel called The Book of Love. Thanks for joining me, folks. We'll see you next time. <laughs>